Hello everyone welcome back to my channel. My name is Alana. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day please subscribe to my channel. So let's get started. The couple tied the knot last week in an intimate ceremony in Puerto Rico. Just days later, Jeremy revealed in an Instagram post that his father, John, died, leaving him heartbroken. My dad, John Schuch, June 28, 1953, February 19, 2024. Ripped to the best dad I could have ever asked for. I am heartbroken, he wrote alongside a throwback photo of the father-son pair. He then thanked his wife for her support throughout the tragedy. I don't even know what to say right now, but I'm very glad to have the best wife by my side through all of this, Jeremy said. Danielle, 48, replied by sharing her grief after losing her father-in-law. My heart hurts so much for you and your family at this time. He was an incredible man who made dreams come true for the most vulnerable souls. He taught me so much about being of service and how to hold space for others. I feel him everywhere, especially when I'm next to you. Thank you for bringing Papa John into my life and the lives of my kids, the History Channel star concluded. On Tuesday, Danielle announced the death of Jeremy's dad in an emotional Instagram post. She posted the same photo her husband shared with a lengthy dedication to Papa John. Papa John you spent your life advocating and creating miracles for the most vulnerable children in your community. The first time I ever met you was in an airplane hangar that you and your elves had turned into the North Pole to make a dream come true for a little girl who was dying of cancer. You gave her hope and peace and excitement. Just like you gave us, she said. You have always welcomed me with open arms, held faith in me when I did not I hold that faith in myself. You saw the goodness in me even when those around you may have doubted it. You held me gently in your heart and allowed me to open up to you, she continued. As we all know, that takes me some time. You traveled thousands of miles many times to come and be with us, and opened your doors when we needed you to sprinkle your magic around us as we were going through hard times. The TV star went on in her tribute. You always cared so much and loved so hard. I did not grow up with holidays, certainly not Christmas. You brought a new understanding of the special occasions into my life. You never made these occasions an opportunity for you to personally benefit. Instead, you made each of these occasions an opportunity for others to benefit from your love, acceptance, and kindness. It took years for me to open up to you fully, and some of the most beautiful memories I have are with you, your family, and your son, Jeremy, who truly embodies your spirit in so many ways. I'm so grateful for that. It was difficult to move forward with this wedding without you there. So many times we cried because little things would remind us of you. Little magical moments that we had never experienced before, but suddenly the entire week of our wedding was filled with the most unexplainable magic in our surroundings and the people who came to be with us and the love we have for each other. Danielle concluded, Even though you were thousands of miles away, trying to heal, you were there with us in every moment, in each sunset and sunrise. Each embrace and celebration. Although you're no longer physically here, I feel you everywhere, absolutely everywhere. Now rest. The American Picker star has been sharing photos from her and Jeremy's wedding on social media. One showed Danielle kissing her husband while wearing a stunning light blue wedding gown. The dress had a deep, open back, exposing her collection of body tattoos. She completed the look with an intricate, bohemian headpiece and held a colorful bouquet of flowers. Danielle and Jeremy dated for six years before saying, I do. Thank you for watching. Write what you think about it. Subscribe to the channel.